Hey there guys, we're taking a look at VR Chat running on the i5 1135G7. Now we're taking a look at VR Chat because it was something that was asked of me. I don't really play VR Chat. I didn't even really know you could run it without a headset. So that was actually news to me. And uh, it was actually surprising to see it was playable for the most part, just running around in this section here. I was genuinely expecting it to be terrible. Uh, but uh, if you go anywhere that it has like any decent amount of people around, you are going to experience performance issues. So I'm showing you this because this was about as good as it got. Uh, there are, you know, just a handful of people running around in this, you know, like little loaded in section. I eventually did end up going to some more populated areas, but it was just such a insane experience. I don't even want to show you footage of it just because, I mean, it's a lot of people just saying really random things and the performance was just so bad. But just expect it to be a slideshow if you're going to be doing anything where there are a lot of people. If you're going to one of those really populated hubs, you are going to run into issues for sure. But if you are just doing this to hang out with your friends, hang out with like a, a handful of people like, like you'd see there was just like two people down there that were just like they were just squatted down just chilling there you know like they were just like chilling out hanging out if that's what you do with your friends then yeah you could get away with you know doing that on here uh, but i i would not use this if you're into all of the social hub aspects to it but i don't really know what people's expectations of performance are for vr chat because it's such an outside thing for me, you know? So it was an interesting experience. I don't think I want to try it again, <laughs> but it's definitely neat, I guess. It's neat that you can at least have the option to run it here. 